In this episode, we introduce a new series of relationship building techniques from one of the best books ever. What's up everyone, this is Jake Voorhees and you're watching episode 17 of The 1% Engineer Show. That's right, one of the best books ever. This is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It was first published in 1937, 80 years ago, but many of the lessons are timeless. This is one of the best personal help books, best professional career relationship books of all time. I've known about this book for a while. I've been planning on doing a episode series on it. And as soon as I started reading, I wanted to make sure that I was giving these lessons to you guys because this is great stuff. First guys, I want you to please leave a comment on this video about what you agree with, what you disagree with, what you like. I wanna know what you guys think, the 1% engineers. Another thing that's awesome about this book and the reason why I'm bringing it to the 1% engineers engineer show is because right in the beginning, Dale Carnegie refers to engineers as being a target audience for this book. It really was an awesome moment for me as I'm reading this book to see right away that he says in terms of financial success for engineers, only about 15% of that can be attributed to technical knowledge. 85% is human engineering, people skills, the ability to lead, the ability to communicate with people and build relationships with people in the best possible fashion to be likable, to manage groups, to be a people person, to be a communicator, to meet people well and things like this. And just overall be a human engineer, be an awesome person because you're always in the people business guys. You've heard me say this before. And if people like you, they're gonna wanna do business with you. They're gonna wanna hire you. They're going to want to promote you. And this book breaks down all of these topics. So first, in this episode, we're gonna talk about the 10 things this book can do for you and also what I'm gonna teach you in these series so you can find the summaries right here. One, give you new thoughts, new visions, new ambitions. Two, enable you to make friends quickly and easily. Three, increase your popularity. That means more people will like you. Four, help you win people to your way of thinking. Five, increase your influence, your prestige, your ability to get things done. Seven, help you to handle complaints, avoid arguments, and keep your human contacts smooth and pleasant. Eight, make you a better speaker and a more entertaining conversationalist. Nine, make the principles of psychology easy for you to deploy in your daily contacts. And 10, help you arouse enthusiasm among your associates, your team, your colleagues, your peers. So these are the types of things you will learn for this book. These are the types of things you will learn in these upcoming episodes. I think books like this can be applied to any type of professional environment, particularly to engineers who generally have the technical know-how, the math savvy, and the ability to figure things out and think critically, yet sometimes we have a tendency to fall short on the people side, the socio-engineering, the human side of things. So these things will help you build relationships better, be more likable, be more popular at work, at your internship, among your classmates in college, and will help you win, it will help you have a more successful career, and become a 1% engineer. If you're liking the 1% engineer show so far, please subscribe guys, it helps me reach more engineers. Stay tuned for episode 18, where we go over principle one of how to win friends and influence people. Thanks for watching the 1% engineer show guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.